Yeah, well, like, um, glitches... Glitches are a way of giving you information, the, giving the player information outside of, um, uh, with, within the medium itself that can, mm -hmm. like, that, like, um, uh, will only work within certain mediums, which I really appreciate. Like, for example, um, you guys ever watch Marble Hornets? Or you know anything about it? No, but first, I know where you're going yeah. with this. The first I have Slender heard Man vaguely. The first Slender, the first, like, big YouTube Slender Man series. Um, yeah. It's um, uh, it's it's actually a lot smarter than a lot of people gave it credit for because like oh tall man in the woods isn't something that's indefinitely scary, which the series was very much aware of, which is how why it shifted pretty much immediately from tall man in the woods spooky to your friends are dangerous as its actual horror, mm -hmm. book, which was really smart. I like that a lot, but. One of the things it did right off the bat that sort of became codified for all, a lot of YouTube horror series and like YouTube series in general was that um, uh, you could tell when the monster was near, not necessarily by um, what you were seeing on screen, but like the ways in which the camera itself would break down. Uh, you would see visual tears and like more static effects. Oh, like how in Axiom Verge it would get a pair of it to the CRT monitor the closer you got to a secret cell. Exactly. There would be um, uh, there would be rips in the footage and like 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 um, uh, just like parts of the screen that just didn't refresh properly mm -hmm. when um, uh, when things were going wrong. That was very deliberate and it was a way of giving you the viewer information that none of the um, uh, people, none of the actors, none of the characters would have because they couldn't actually see that happening in real life. What they were seeing was just the way it was. This was mm -hmm. an issue with the recording, with the way the information was being presented. And that's clever as hell. Uh, and that's why I sort of like it when video games uh, go for that, like, you know, aesthetic, that, that, that general idea. That kind mm -hmm. of yeah, because um, uh, because it's a really neat way of, um, uh, of working within the medium to give you information that you couldn't get and that is specific to video games. I like that, that's cool. But, you know, it's, it's also really easy to overdo and like, you know, and like if you're going for that, but also like throw a ton of blood in there, it just sort of like feels redundant. That's yeah, it's, it's like Zombies or Cthulhu or whatever, where when it first hit the scene, it's like, oh, there's some really clever things being done. This. And everyone's like, well, now I got to get in on that action. And they just. Yeah, don't. yeah. It's, yeah, but when like everybody does it, you're like, OK, let's, let's tone down a bit, guys. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm saying this to someone who really likes just glitches in general, because like you said, they can do some really cool things with storytelling, or just aesthetically, honestly. Yeah, there's like also there's, there's something loads that of ways I... that you can you can use it properly, but it has to be used properly. Mm -hmm. There's also something that uh, someone I've talked to sometimes has noticed about how glitches are presented is it's heavily inspired by when they like when the people who would have experienced this like what system they would have been on like you get a lot of references to missing though for pokemon a lot of things where it's like oh old nes cartridge things where you get just alphanumeric characters appearing and playing space and tyler yeah, errors. Exactly. but there's a lot of different ways that glitches can represent especially for 3d things what you'll usually see is more polygons like someone just has a triangle sticking out of their face and extended into the stratosphere and that yeah, doesn't like, happen or... as often or like a um, or like or like um, or like a floor texture where um, uh, where like you have Z fighting happen. That's that's a good way to do it. Like on a modern system, I would think mm -hmm. uh, something like that. Or um, uh, yeah, like 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 the like the um, uh, like the me like as glitches are a reference to the medium you're in. They have to um, uh, they have to like play by the rules of that medium. Right. Like that's actually kind of something I think Killer Seven does a little bit with uh, the Phantom Smile enemies. How they just have that one heavily distorted part of their body like the, it's like yeah oh, like yeah. like just one other is one, one part of them is missized it's that's mm -hmm. that's clever I, I dig that and not even normally missized if it's on their head just things yeah, if it's on their head, their it's head. just like it's just those three um, uh, those, those three tries got lifted and exactly and are, are misplaced it's that sort of shit i love that shit <laughs> in any case while it's a bit early to really call that on this game there are like I said, there's some hand-fisted things it does, especially in the intro, and then there's some really clever things it does with this. But we're gonna have to wait to get to the most of it. Okay, we gotta get up there for our next dungeon. Well, uh, we got ourselves a useless item back there in the Three Bears house. So that's cool, I guess. Can I go over here and get these items, though? I want stuff. Yes, I can. Okay. That's the 
really the only difficulty of navigating the overworld is you gotta figure out, hey, there's a shiny dot over here. How do I actually get to the thing that dot has to offer? And it's not always immediately clear, and it's not usually in a way that's great. It's like, oh, there's a thing of coins down there. How do I actually get down there? And like, you'd think it'd be as simple as just look at the map, but the map has to be really simple because of the procedural generation, and that kind of makes it hard to navigate to like, how does one yeah, throw coins, right. man? That's the double-edged sword of procedural generation. Like, like it prevents you from creating a world that feels organic, which is weird because procedural generation is like supposed to be really good at like things that are sort of inherently random, like a forest full of trees <laughs> and stuff, right? But but like if you um, compare this to um, uh, like say like to say even even Zelda one's map, you get like mm -hmm. an area that feels like a mountain, an area by a river, and that river actually like you know sort of courses through the land, and like wooded areas are constraints themselves because that's where all the woods are. And with do it procedurally generated, you just sort of like have oh here's water and here's a tree and here's some bushes. It's 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 messy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got a bit distracted because people have been oh, going with fireworks off every single night now, and... Uh, I fucking love fireworks. I'm the only one. Fireworks are fine. <laughs> I'm the yeah, only one. You know they're coming. <laughs> I'm the only one. Alright. A tunic. A tunic. It's a camouflage tunic. We already know what that is because we had the camouflage potion. Now we're just, you know, permanently invisible because that's how we roll. Ice birthplace of hatred. Oh boy. It's just got ice. It's where hatred comes from, you know. That is where I that is where hate comes from. The first guy to ever be really cold was man was was the first person who ever felt true who ever felt true hatred. I believe it. Wow. There's a pumpkin here. And you know what we do when we see a pumpkin? Why Smash is it. there a Statue of the guy that kid. We that smash it and then we sing that. this arm by a built by a smashing pumpkins. <laughs> There's a statue of Lance because he's the hero of fortitude, obviously. Yes, the hero of fortitude. <laughs> well, that was definitely a title he had while he was alive. I don't see any reason well, to change that. Twenty seconds of it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Silver Shield reflects projectiles. It's good. That's good. The snails leave poisonous slime, and we can't really do a whole lot about that. We can do a lot about this, though. Blast that open, and then this open. Get that book. You need a book. Look. Gotta be readers. Yep. Literate. Paige, we got books. We found eight so far. That's quite a few. Yep, we're gonna go visit her. I gotta say, I really like our little pumpkin man. We had him like on the last run that ended badly because somebody somebody forgot to hit record. But I'm really glad that we got pumpkin man back. Yep, <laughs> I am the end. Thanking us you, sure. Kate, I hope you, you die. Hit, <laughs> you did hit uh, record for this one, right? Yes. Yes, I yes. made sure of that. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. excellent. <laughs> anyway, the, the pumpkin has a very I important I God, I'm so mad at you, Paige. <laughs> I am so mad at you. Clearly, it must absolve her of her responsibilities as librarian. She is unfit for the job. We will leave our pumpkin in her stead. Oh, if anything, she's overqualified, which is why I hate. Her. <laughs> but yes, Point let stand. us let us let us let us take her from her uh, from her library and whisk her away on a whirlwind adventure, so she can see a world without her book puns. She can like make rock puns and tree puns and sky puns and all sorts of puns unrelated to libraries. I feel like this is the beginning of a brand new adventure. It really is. Okay, I got it. Okay, what's this one do? It was a fire potion. That's cool. Let me just put on my fire resistance tunic real quick. Cause yeah, there's potions of fire. You throw them at things and they catch fire. It's nice. They're one of the things you can actually use the sequence break, because you use them on the things that would ordinarily catch fire. And they do catch fire. 
That's cool. I do. Think, I dig that. All right. Gotta do a block pushing puzzle. Block. Block. Uh, yes. These are also procedurally generated, which it's a block puzzle. There's only so much you can do with it, but you have to slow down and think about it a bit. They look less procedurally generated, more like they have a few configurations. Okay, that was weird. Okay, I know the page is scripted to call you a little while after you find eight books, but I just decided to beat her to the punch on that one. And then she's like, no, I'm just going to call you again. We you know what? Joke's on you, Paige. I'll call you right back. I don't know what I was expecting. Alright, well this dungeon is heavily telegraphing a couple of things, but I'm not sure which one yet. I have a guess. I might. No, I don't. That's a lie. Well, feel free to place your bets. I will not be collecting My on these bets. My bet is that you will find a fish, fish leather skirt. Fish leather skirt? That's not the school teacher forever. appropriate. The swimming thing. That's absolutely school teacher appropriate. School teachers can wear skirts. Fish leather skirts, though? Fish leather? I mean, fish leather. Sure what that is. I mean, like you know, maybe, maybe I don't know. <laughs> nah, she strikes me as more of a fish leather short sort of person. Giant crab, watch this fight. Giant crab, crab battle. God, that's, uh, that's new uh, grounds. Uh, <laughs> new grounds in the uh, 2003 says hi. <laughs> 2005? Somewhere in that area. Hey, I was right. Oh, shorts. Exactly. Fish, fish oh, fish I, leather I got, a, shorts. I got a poison tunic. Guess what it does when you wear it? It poisons you? It poisons you. I'm not going to wear it. That sounds... Tunic worm so says they're mad at us too and they don't know why. And where are we all find individuals from? Well, I'm from Orlando, uh, which is like, you know, hell on earth. Uh... <laughs> uh at all I, times, but especially now. Yeah, I'm Florida, man. Yep. I'm from Salt Lake City. It's... It'd be nice if it wasn't in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> that tends to be the case. I mm -hmm. do like the page fights by throwing books. Oh, yeah. That's very yeah. You do you not fight that one? That's how I fight. I, I just like how, as a librarian, she is definitely keeping books um, very uh, well maintained. <laughs> We're on a real-life adventure. Paige is excitable. I, Paige, I find Paige much more palatable now that she's out of the library. Yeah. <laughs> Easing off the puns did a lot for her, I think. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 she, she, she was, uh, she was a little difficult to get along with them, but, but, but getting outside has done her some good. Oh, yeah. If you, if you like going on outdoors trips, like, you go to Moab, which is like, Dang, this place is amazing. If you want to get a drink, uh, <laughs> Mormons. Let's see. Utah is a beautiful state. If you like outdoors, we're trying to get a real drink. You're out of luck. That's a good idea. I'm going to get myself a real drink. I will be right back. That's the spirit. Can't believe I don't even drink, and I agree wholeheartedly. Can't believe. Hey, boy, I can absolutely believe it. Can't Speed tuning. Believe. We're wearing this for the rest of the game. Oh, boy. It's time to go Procedural giveth and procedural take away. Who knows what it will take away from you? I. The first test run I did this gave me the frugal tunic at first. I had so much money I freaked out and couldn't continue. <laughs> wow. It's true, he did. That it's sounds okay. impressive. <laughs> Listen, you don't start a run with like. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, six whole All dollars. Right. We are at six whole dollars this far in. <laughs> Good news, Beat. It's time for Clear to go fast. Oh, I man, I love going fast. Static <laughs> Worm, cheers digitally. I am drinking a Voodoo Ranger New Belgium Imperial IPA. Very nice, very nice. Sonic it's kind of the well. All right, these guys must be having a defense tunic or something. They are taking an absolute walloping to bring down. Takes a lick and keeps on ticking. Exactly. We had a speed tunic. This is what I feel like Lena's default move speed in this game should be. She's just a little too slow for my taste. It's not a huge thing, it's not a deal breaker, but 
I like to throw on the speed tunic and never look back when I play this thing. I mean, yeah, no. Typically speaking, that's the way to do it. It's like uh, it's like when you're playing Hotline Miami 1, the second you fi I find the Brandon mask, I never wear anything else. <laughs> just gotta be scooting. Yeah, just gotta go. Speed is an inherent virtue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, where is the secrets? I want the secrets. Secrets? Secrets? Okay, maybe the secrets are down here. Maybe I already found the secrets. Maybe the secrets are the friends we made along the way. Maybe the secrets... Uh, maybe we move beyond the secrets. Maybe we no longer need secrets. Maybe we move That's beyond insane. Thunderdome. Can't we just guy? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's let's all move beyond Thunder Go together. I am so mad that George Miller hasn't got to make his Fury Road sequel yet. <laughs> oh, there's a sequel sure for that coming up. Uh, uh, he's been wanting to make one. For like he's years. been wanting to make something for like ever since like the like um, a Fury Road came out. Mm -hmm. uh, but he hasn't been able to partially because and this 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 makes me very mad. Partially because one of the largest film markets right now is China, and uh, Mad Max Fury Road was not allowed to be shown there because of anti-government uh, ideology in it. <laughs> Chinese censorship board said nope, not allowed. Damn it, anyway, China. Yeah, I mean, it was cut out of that very lucrative market. And it's not even really anti-government so much as it is anti-psychotic, uh, psychotic water hoarding, uh, sex offender. Which, yeah, like, if, if that's the government. If, if that's what you think government is, that's a whole, that's your problem. That's yeah, not like, bad. If you're comparing it's yourself to Mad Max, Joe, that's, that's more that's about you. That's what the government thinks government is. Yeah, if that's, that's what the government the thinks government is, that's a problem. <laughs> Granted, as an American citizen in the year 2020, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, every day is pain. Well, we got day. meteors, so that's nice. I can't believe it's still March. <laughs> I think the biggest issue I saw for Fury Road sequels at this point was just that Warner Brothers was trying to play hardball with a bonus day of George Miller. That's, uh, that's uncool. It's reported that a lawsuit filed by Miller's production company against Warner Brothers over a disputed $7 million bonus was likely to destroy the production of the sequels. Yo, give George Miller his money. George also, also, like, it's $7 million for Warner Brothers at the round game. Yeah, like, seriously. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. Anyway, I time get... for the Archangel fight with Sand Dolphin. Oh man, Sand Dolphin, that is such a good name. <laughs> I really like that name. This fight's pretty neat, even though it's simple, because it really has you playing around with the swimming mechanics, which you really don't have to do anywhere else. It's just like, oh, there's water, I swim, it's fine, but here... You can push down the button to swim faster, and there's a different button for diving and dodging the attacks, and they make you dive to dodge the attacks, because, you know, giant waves of stars you must dodge. I don't know, I just like this fight a bit. That's a cool good fight. It's a good fight. Yeah. I give credit where it's due. It's, it's a decent fight. Mm -hmm. right. You are allowed to like the fight, because it is good. Yeah. I, I hereby give you permission to enjoy the video game you are already playing. No. <laughs> Just as a treat. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We got a phone number here in this corrupted memory. We are calling that. I like the idea of, like, a uh, little uh, Miss okay. teacher going, Hell yeah, I'm gonna call the fuck out of this shit! <laughs> So it's like, Dude, I get a flashback no, seeing this monster, I was like, okay, this is all great, but I learned a pizza place number. I'm going for that. Oh man, I'm gonna you get so much pizza. pizza. A pizza place from the uh, squid singing the song. 